Why is your date a scarecrow chick? She didn't say no to me. Hello everyone, it's officially Halloween season. The time where millions of pancreases cry out in pain, then are immediately silenced. But not counting food, there are many parts of Halloween that are really good. Like scary stuff, going on hay rides, or dressing up in a plague doctor mask. But the mask gets too hot and your field of vision is too reduced, so you have to wear the mask as a hat and no one can tell what you are. Or aren't you a nice dunce? But one thing that's really good about Halloween is jack-o'-lanterns, but no one really knows where they came from, so that's what this video is about. So in order to understand jack-o'-lanterns, we must first understand pumpkins. Pumpkins are large members of the gourd family native to North America. They can come in all different colors and shapes and weigh anywhere between 2 and 2,000 pounds, which makes them great for throwing. Dude, catch! <laughs> Grandpa, tell us about how you met Grandma! Nah, I got a better idea. I'm gonna tell you guys about how I lost my ability to pee. Along with being great ball alternatives, they're also used in foods enjoyed by lots of people, like pumpkin pie, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin seeds, and other pumpkin-y things. But the main use of pumpkins is carving jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns originated in Ireland with a myth. Basically, there was this fella named Stingy Jack who was an absolute piece of work to everyone, including Satan himself. Eventually, when he died, God made a hard pass on him. This dude is suddenly making me feel a lot better about getting rejected by a few girls, because after God rejected him, he was sent to hell where even Satan didn't want him there. So he was sent to wander Ireland for all eternity with only a piece of coal and a carved turnip to help him see. I guess people seemed to like the legend because they started carving faces into everything. Beets, turnips, possibly heads, potatoes. Eventually it made its way to America where people started carving them into pumpkins and people agreed that that was a superior way of carving them. There are a lot of do's and don'ts when it comes to carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, but here are some of the big ones. One of the big don'ts is don't hold the knife towards you when you're carving the pumpkin. Another thing you have to watch out for is being sure to use a reliable candle for lighting it up once you're done. I'm finally done with my pumpkin. Always make sure you're carving your pumpkin on a flat surface. Before you start carving, make sure that you have a design ready. You can make pumpkins look like any emotion. Happy, sad, mad, constipated, scary, mischievous. Hey, what are you doing near my exposed nerve cloth? Always make sure that you have a plan before carving, because any mistake you make is permanent. Hey Bubaba, I don't know if it was a good idea to carve you into this pumpkin. <laughs> you may be wondering what I carved my pumpkin to look like this year. Well here you go! As you can see, it's a self-portrait. I don't know what expression that is, but I sure hope it isn't mischievous. Thanks for watching my video on jack-o'-lanterns. The next video is a Thanksgiving video, I think, so look forward to that and goodbye.